Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You are what you are because... You are what you are, what you believe you are. Yes, there we go. Humans are powerful magicians. You have the power to make yourself what you are right now, but it's not your reasoning mind that controls your power. It's what you believe. That's right. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 392, Nasdaq's off 119, S&P's off 48. Gold, gold contract up $33.20, trading at 2,025 an ounce. We have silver up 39 cents, $25.62 an ounce. Light sweet crude down $3.88, $71.78 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up one point plus three ticks at 115.19. The 30 year up a full point plus 29 ticks. Remember, 32 ticks is a point, folks. Almost up two points at 131.18 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now is down 200. And 21 ticks at 101.930. The euro is trading at 110. The yen is at 136. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, you had a fast move in a one-way direction out here this morning, this afternoon also. And bottom line, I suspect this is, this is what's seeping into the market right now, folks, is all about the debt ceiling. That's what's going on. So fast and furious, you know, you come down. Bottom line, we had a high out there of 41.91, and you come down to 86 S&P points, like nothing. Like, boom, see ya. Now, as we did a counter trend bounce up here, this bounce we did, let's see what this bounce was. So, yeah, look at this. This is really dangerous, actually. You did a 0.382 bounce from the highs of last night to the lows of today. Um, what you still have is that you still have this. It's not a high volume low at the bottom, but it's still got pretty good volume there. We got volume at the low there, 59,000 contracts. So that probably can get hit again. Let's go to the queues and take a look at the end queues here. Now, this is on the daily because what happens here. You know, as I showed in that update, the bottom line is that this is still pulling back with light volume in. So this, you know, we're going to have the announcement tomorrow and this thing could pop again. Yeah, so if we look at the NQs, you're going to see the, the biggest bar in the NQs, the first low that was established, that was 31,000 contracts. And then 10 minutes, uh, 20 minutes later, we got 20,000 contracts. And then when we did get that pop here, about an hour and a half ago, that wants to get tested. This this wants to get tested at 13,321. So we're 10 points underneath that right now. That wants to get, you can see, see how the volume expanded there? That wants to get tested also. If we take a look at that, now close that baby, I want this one. Come on, close that, I don't want that, I want this. There we go. So this is getting interesting. So you can see that did a 50% retracement, the NQs. So the NQs are getting stronger than the S&P, which is a flip around, you know. And the NQs dictate where the market goes. So we'll see where that shakes out. Now, if we go into the ETF structures and take a look at them, what you're going to see here, the SPY traded down to 407. We're at 411. Now, we're going to probably have around the same amount of volume. But you need more volume than that to really break down. You know, the volume, we're at 80 million today. We'll see whether you get, it probably will get 95. You know, if it gets more than 95, then you have a, you have a continue, you'll, you can, you probably will have a continuation. So it depends on how much they actually throw in. Because they, they're throwing a lot of volume into the market right now, actually. Because when I did the update, which was only four minutes ago, um, let's see, four minutes ago? No, it was six minutes ago. The, um, the volume was a lot lighter than that, that's for sure. We take a look at the Qs. What do we have with the Qs right now? The Qs, you're banging out 45. I think we're going into 55. 
Oh, 65. So it's 20 million. So this is going to be, this is something we want to really watch because you shouldn't do another 20 million in 45 minutes. Now, if we do, that's saying you can have a continuation on the way down. If we don't, if, we, if it's a normal type of sell-off coming into the close, you'll probably end up uh, with about 58 million. About 13 million they can put in an hour pretty easy. We go to the gold contract. Gold contract caught a bit out here. Bottom line, you have the wide price spread. You have the volume behind the move, 220, 230,000 contracts. Um, you're, you're over the consolidation just slightly over the last 10 days. So that puts in place that this can go after the highs once again. And remember, the, the gold contract, this has been a complex ABC structure on the way up, but it's still an ABC structure on the way up. You took out a B point, you took it out with volume. You, you know, got below the B point again. Now you're coming in, uh, you're getting above the B point again. You get volume behind the move, all of the above. And then as we go to the dollar, what we're going to see inside the dollar is that the dollar, there she goes, what's happening with the dollar is that it didn't hold price again. And you can see what, what's intriguing here about the market, about the dollar not holding price is that the market itself, okay, can't hold price. As the dollar, you know, bottom line went from 102, 404, and then went into the negative. Normally, when you see something like that, the, the market can turn around pretty fast. Now, there's no doubt the S&P turned around somewhat, but you're still, you know, you're still down. Let's see, we're down. Yeah, you're down. Well, the Nasdaq's down eight tenths of a percent. The indice, the S&P's down 1.1, and the Dow Jones is down. 1%. So that's not the end of the world. The beginning, though, this is a trader's market, folks. That's the bottom line. It's a little trader's paradise out here. Um, you get a two-way market. Uh, you have wide price spreads. You get fast moves. And uh, bottom line, uh, oil. Oil is getting smoked, as is the, uh, you know, if you go take a look at the, the infrastructure plays, um, oil's going lower, folks. The XLE topped out a long time ago. You know, when we look at the XLE now, I mean, you know, that, that stayed at the highs for quite some time, but bottom line is that, you know, you've, you're giving it up and you're giving it up, you get some expansion. So the other end of this consolidation is game. Stay right there, folks. Come back with a man, Mr. Battle Chapman.